Alrighty. We are here on YouTube. Alrighty. Little NHL 20 here on this Sunday afternoon. So I'm from Virginia and originally uh, we used to have a minor league team called the Richmond Renegades. Well, I decided to recreate them, but using some of the hometown sports teams in Richmond, uh, kind of the color, the Richmond Flying Squirrels kind of have that red, black, white look. Decided to go with that look, and I created the Richmond Renegades. And right now we are 16, 10, and 3 with a, an expansion franchise. So we're going to take a look at this team. Pretty good team. I like them a lot. I will probably win the Stanley Cup with this if I play my cards right. Alright, so today's matchup will be the uh, Coyotes against the Renegades. And we're ready to rock. The one thing about this game I don't like is the goalie play. It's not realistic on uh, shots. That's unfortunate. Kapanen's probably one of my better players, one of my better forwards. So that I'll, I'll take a hit because he's probably also one of my fastest players. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. 
Nudifar is taking it from his own end. Unleashes a cannon! Comes up with the stop! Feeds it over to Galchenyuk. And it's a quick pass to Keller. Looks to set up at the point now. Galchenyuk got the puck now. He had the go ahead goal earlier. Uh -oh. Right in front with the shot! Comes up with the stop! High quality chance! Okay. High quality save. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 1 0 the score. Atari's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Puck grabbed by Demers. Here's a short pass to step on. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Gets in front of it. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. On the doorstep. Uh, oh, good save. Well, he clearly doesn't like what's going on there in the yeah, crease. Yeah, they're going to exchange some words here. The goalie and the, and the player are hot. Hudobin's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Arizona's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Stepan's won the draw. Pass right on the doorstep. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. When you're ahead, you've got to make a safe play here. Get it behind the net. Quick pass to Fisher. Quick shot, brilliant save, run it perfectly. Oh, set that hit up but perfectly. I get a five minute misconduct for hitting a guy from the side, and that's not even a minor, but whatever. Video games, right? And he gets pummeled. He tried to protect himself by getting his stick up, but he didn't get it up far enough. He got rattled out of his hands. Now he's got to chase it down. Quick feed to Dvorak. Now a quick pass to Dvorak. Takes it across the blue line. <laughs> and a line change. Whoops. Look out, a two on one. And too much traffic in front. Watch that one. He got knocked around somewhere on this shift. He's battling pretty hard to try and get the puck out of the zone. He needs some help from his teammates so he can get a change. Takes the feed. Mm. Shot, and there's the save. Nudavara's showing a lot of heart here. It takes a lot of courage and gumption to finish a shift when you're injured. We hope that he's okay. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a chance out front! And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Moves it to Burns. Mm, mm, Arizona's mm. got the Passing could be better. Been the longest penalty in the history. Golagoski's got it against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Golagoski. Stopped by the goaltender. Thunder is hit. Well, that's inevitable. He had his head down, got hit so hard he dropped the stick. Now he's got to go pick it up before he can join the play again. That's why coaches say keep your head up, right? That's one of the reasons. Arizona's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Panino's won it off the faceoff. Now over to Kopp. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, gosh. Puck back onto a stick. Great read to break up the play. Richmond's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Hammers the shot. That's off a stick. That was a good-looking chance, but he turned it away. Dished on over to Stepan. Great hit on the play. Oh, come on. You get a few bounces like this, or you don't get a few bounces like this. The puck's off the post in the net. Yeah, when you have a 15 minute power play, that'll happen. Really good work on the power play. They move the puck around, get a quality shot, but it's the traffic in front of the net that makes the difference. 
The Coyotes have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, yeah, no they're leading in this one. All right. Up here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Knocked away. Dropped him in the open ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, that did not go to the person I wanted to have it. Okay. I need to get one back here before the period ends. Arizona still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And now he angles it across to Gustafson. Shot comes up on the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Carries it across the line. Levels him with the hit. Puts the puck on net and makes the save. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Hammers the shot. Oh, he stole that one. That was a fireball. Arizona's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Oh, he'll feel that one. Richmond's ready to go on the attack. He oh. just got by that big hit. If I could get one cross ice pass to go, I'll be able to score goals, but Arizona's been the better team here in this first period for shots. Need to get one here. Just a better all around execution. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Feeds the puck to Gibbons. Sends the pass over. Back to the blue line. And now he tries to get it across to Labushkin. Still to come in period number two. Lots of action on the ice. And up in the broadcast booth, business will pick up. The iconic Snoop Dogg will join us here. Arizona's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Takes that pass back at the point. Moved out in front. Oh, Let's my go. goodness. Alex Galchenyuk. <sighs> Well, this is about as bad of a start as you could ask for. Are up big here late in the first period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Here's a short pass to Grabner. He's got the puck on his stick again in the offensive zone. If he had scored there, I'd have been very upset. Keep it in. Uh, That's a really good stop because the puck's out of danger. Slides the puck over. That was a very frustrating first period. Rock stars, and then there's next level to that. And our guest coming up in period number. Okay. Hello, Mr. Lago. Mr. Brooks. Well, I've had uh, I've had work. I've had pretty terrible first period. I think you asked me if this was going to be a challenge, and uh, yes, this is nothing short of one. Performance and the games would be more 
interactive as far as finding ways to put the people in the there, Lago? Them on the ice, but just make it more okay. Mild. The people like audio well, seemed a little low. Well. Like the fans are more involved, so finding ways to create ways to make it all about everybody involved the players, the fans, and the people watching at home. Like, how just put some snoop on it, you know? That's what I do. I can get down with that, yes, sir. Moves the puck along the half wall. Whew, almost four nothing, man. Yeah, not, it was a pretty terrible first. You always seem to break social media or the internet for that matter when you're involved in hockey. Are you surprised at the reaction you get around the game? No, not really, because you know what's that? Sport that people really want to know about. You know, yeah. Dog is a perfect guy to teach it to you. So when I get involved, they want to know more about it. Good hit on the play. Quick pass to Fisher. Another stop by the goaltender. I, I need to get a goal here. Aston Reese plays it into the offensive zone. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. All right, Ray. Is he thinking about it now? Oh, there's no way he's not. I had nine of these, nine hat tricks, and when you get the second one, it's really kind of the only thing you're thinking about. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. You're all about pushing boundaries, creating an image. When you were a kid, how old were you when your first album dropped? Man, I was like maybe 19 years old. Okay, so a lot of young players around the NHL. I just can't get any rebounds, can't get any cross ice pass. This has been about as frustrating of a game as I think I've ever had. what you do and master your craft. You understand me? And go study the greats. There's somebody that you love that was great. Cannot get one rebound. It's amazing. Hey, look, I know I'm no chick turner, but you want to still hang around? And now I'm running away without the puck. This is great, man. My guys are, my guys came to play tonight. Oh, and then I go up ice, guys wide open, and then hops on the bench for a line change. Like, what are you doing, bro? It would have been a one-on-one. -on -one. In the offensive zone, but what what can you do? And another cross ice pass that goes to the other team. So this is great, man. So ideally, what would be cool down the road is getting some athletes to come in and game with us. I think that would be awesome. There we go, we're on the board. Even Snoop Dogg's excited about it. He's uh he came in to do some broadcasting for the second period. you have to check it out. I think the Richmond Coliseum looks much improved since I built it up in this game from what its current state is. Here's a short pass to Keller. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Can you wake me up uh, at 6 a.m. in the morning? You down up here? Can you wake me up tomorrow? Matter of fact, he knocked him in the middle of next week. We need to get Snoop awake up All right, got one here in the second, so now I'm only down two. So I got a lot of work to do. But after only giving up, after giving up 16 shots in the first period, I only gave up four in the second period. So that's just the difference of uh, playing five on five hockey versus playing down for so long in the first, which I did. Yeah, I didn't get a ton of shots that period. I think I only had four shots as well, but um, obviously scored one of them, so an improvement but I got to play a lot better in the third if I want to have a chance to come back and tire try to take the lead just seems like for for me with this game so many guys like it's like like I could go in there and hit some hit you know Zdeno Char and knock him down like yeah right that'll never happen it just the hitting is just not realistic and honestly never has been I mean, all the time. 
Like, yeah, I get sometimes if you if you lick somebody, but like, just to hit someone against the boards and then they just go, you know, flying, is not what would happen in real life. But I will say, this is gameplay-wise, this game is so much improved. Uh, probably my favorite NH one of my favorite NHL games is probably my first one, uh, NHL '94 for the Sega Genesis, and uh, Peter Bondra for the Capitals was so good in that game, man. I am running out of time here. Don't have anyone to get a rebound. What? A delayed penalty? They're gonna give me a charging again? Okay. No player is strong in this game with their puck skills either. You get touched and the puck goes flying. Alright, 9.49 to go. Down 3-1. I'm on a penalty kill. pass here like to me I'm sorry that is charging the guy came from so far away and they're gonna call another penalty on me it's incredible man what am I gonna get hit with here they're gonna that's my third charge of the game after like my guy like literally you would have thought that uh it was like a kickoff in football and came and just laid laid into me after a fair catch. That's what it looked like. Five on three. I'm, this is, I'm sure, going to end well. Oh, no. This is going to be ball game here. No. Oh, Burn. I'm sorry. That would not happen to Mr. Brian Burns. Like, the guy touches you and, and, the, and the puck goes flying. It makes a zero. Man, oh, rebound. Big shot. That was such trash. Well, now I'm down three with seven and a half minute, and uh, technically when we are five on five, my period length are three minutes. So I basically got to score a goal like uh, every 30 seconds here. <laughs> we, I, I'm sure stranger things have happened, but... Here's a blast! Shuts him down! 
And guess what? Another penalty coming my way. This is hilarious. What are they going to get me for? Let me guess. Oh, oh, a game misconduct this time. So that's my second guy that's gone for the game. Like, the thing is, like, the hit was so bad. Like, it, was, it wasn't what you would think. It was so terrible. So basically, they are on a, a power play the rest of the game. So this game might get really, really ugly score-wise. Wait for me to save my first YouTube stream for pro probably the uh, the worst game I've played in this game. Well, I had a look, and but their goalie's pretty strong today. If I can get something going. Three minutes to go. Picked off. Advocators got it in the offensive end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Tries to get it over to Devorak. Right in the slot. Stones him in front. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice. He makes the stop and pushes it away. Intercepts the pass. That was such a trash. On the doorstep. Snaps one the slot with the stop. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Arizona's got the puck in their own end. Oh, that's a good hit. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Benito's got it into offensive so territory. Nice. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. You're going to take a chance once in a while if your team's trailing. That's a solid hit. I'm just gonna like lay the wood to everyone, not just don't care. Like I'm sorry, that guy went airborne to hit me, but no penalty. My guy is legit hurt on the ice. I'm calling shenanigans on the AI here today. For some reason. And goal. Shocker. <sighs> well. We'll have to look at the goals and see how many five-on-five five goals they scored. Because I know, I know that was my only chance because I haven't been on the power play once today. But I've been on the, pa the penalty kill for what feels like half the game. <laughs> well, you tripped a lot. <laughs> Alright, that's incredible. Another guy down. Get that out of here. Thirty seconds to go. Thank God. Last shot coming up. 
And of course it's saved. Wow, I'm going to lose this one 5-1. to one. Not my best effort. That was rough. That was brutal. So I was outshot by 10. Face-offs were I was also down 21 to 10. Oh, here you go. I had 34 penalty minutes. And they went three for six on the power play. 11 minutes and nine seconds of power play minutes. It's not good. All right, we got to regroup. Because my team is much better than that. But my goodness, that was rough. All right, next up, we got the Columbus Blue Jackets coming to Richmond to the Coliseum. Okay. Uh, you know, we're going to go with our alternate jerseys tonight, the all black. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's see if I can not get hit with two major penalties this game. Yeah, you'll have to uh, head over to the stream and check out the Richmond Coliseum. Actually, I, I think I did a pretty good job with it. The Blue Jackets will finally return home after tonight and not a moment too soon. This trip has really turned into a crime. It's not much to look at. It's a big brown building that's just huge. Ah, oh, post. Oh, he got rocked on that play. And the puck skips away after that move. Tick tack kaboom. The puck blows up off his stick. He's in a position to do something better with it than that. Cops won the face off. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Columbus has it against the half wall. Richmond's got it behind the net. Moves the puck up to Kapanen. Reads it perfectly. Terrible pass. Quick pass to Dubois. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Come on. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Uh, stay with it. Unleashes a cannon. Standing tall with the save. Here's a blast. Misses wide. Quick feed to Bjorkstrand. Referee's got his hand up. Uh, another penalty. Let me guess. Are you going to give me another... Uh, if they give me another five minutes... All right, that's only two minutes, but... They are going to hit me for boarding. I'll at least agree with that one. I did... I did... Um, 
Like, that'd be a crime on the street. And see, now, to me, that was worse than any of the five-minute majors or any of the penalties last game, but that was only a two-minute boarding penalty somehow. Game is broken. You gotta create a team though. Good luck. Over the line they come. That's fine. It takes a little while. Benino's gonna play it against the half wall. And that shot dies in traffic. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Moves it to Benino. Put the hard Seattle. Here. What a hit. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. It's a three on one. And I got another penalty. So now I'm on the five on three. And oh, hey, the chargings are starting again. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. This. This is not good. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, I actually got a shot on a three-on-five somehow. And they froze the puck for some reason. Yeah, whatever team you make, they will automatically put in the West. So if you want an East team, you'll have to like move someone like Detroit or Columbus to the West. If you want them to regionally make sense. Mm, you could do Boise, Idaho. You could do Cheyenne, Wyoming. You could do Mount Rushmore. You could go, go South Dakota. Uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. You could do some. You could do. Don't say that state on this channel. You know where we work, right? Um, you could you could do you could do something alien. You could do I was gonna say you could do uh, like Albuquerque, New Mexico, and do something like alien related. These power plays are just in, just the gameplay power play is just so long. Just hurry it up. As fast as I've got, you know, a power play is two minutes and it's like two minutes of real time. But no, let's see, there we go. Like literally, that felt like I was on a ten minute power play just now, or penalty kill, excuse me. And they score, of course. Eugene, Oregon. Yeah, see, Fort you know, Richmond up until, like, I think last year was not in it. They had a Richmond Hill, but uh, I was like, you know, if I'm going to do Richmond, like, I want them to be able to say Richmond. And they had the Renegades built in, so I was like, well, that's perfect, because that used to be a hockey team, so. Oh, I redirected it, deflected off me, and woof. California has three teams already, and you want to give them another one? Oh, 
Puts it up front. And that slides right out to center ice. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Larson stick handling in his own zone. Well, there was a team, I don't know if they're still around, but uh, it was a minor league team called the Seattle Thunderbirds. Is that going to be the team name? Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, shots 10 to 5, down to nothing. Come on. You ever been to Seattle? It's a great city. They would love hockey there. I think they would like basketball or hockey. I think both team, both franchises could do well. There we go. Goal. We're on the board. Got the red smoke going in the end zones when uh, when goals are scored. They were the Dragons. Not a great name. I think the fans, the delayed reaction, they didn't even know the puck went in the net because of just how I had to thread the needle on that one. So two to one, time of the goal, 138 of the second period. So that was the best. Sounds like a minor league, like a single A baseball team. Is it? Uh, another penalty. Goodness gracious. You gotta figure out your colors first. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted. Uh, I did the renegade. I did the one that's like it looks like a bandit because you know renegades. But I uh, that was my that was my um, secondary logo. I did the uh, the letter R that looks similar to the old Richmond logo. Just happened to it was actually an AHL team that had like an R as a logo, and I was like, I'll take that for Richmond. Okay. Oh Lord! I don't know how could ever made that save. That's going to be your team. That's a trip. Of course you're not going to call it. Why would you call that? Because it makes sense. the first one on the list. Atlanta, uh, not West Coast. Columbus 
was preaching pucks on net at the morning skate earlier today. Baltimore does not need hockey. Game plan, which is why they lead here in the second. Pucks it away to stay on the attack. Here's a short pass to Manson. Here's a shot. That one's a oh. And now he moves it to Dubois. And now he angles it across to Atkinson. Here's an odd man rush. Stopped by the goaltender. Tries to get the puck to Connolly. Connolly's got the puck. Steps into it, and that goes wide. Sometimes you're so focused on shooting it quickly, you don't get it on the net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Intercepts the pass. The Portland Lumberjacks. Extremely well positionally. They don't have the puck. They've got the back. They're the Timbers. <laughs> The, the lightning, bro. Then you got thunder and lightning. You could be totally cheesy like that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. You're, you're, gonna, be, you're gonna be in. You're gonna be in the Western Conference. <laughs> uh, the tornadoes. The the st the storm. Ah. Still two to one. Three twenty-two to go in the second period. Need a need the equalizer here. That's a that's a slash. What are we doing here? I feel like I'm on the doorstep of getting one. Broussard's won it off the face off. Here they come on the attack. Quick pass to Kukin. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Quick feed to Broussard. Oklahoma City Spartans. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And doesn't go. There's the horn ending the period. I think the goaltender's breathing a huge sigh. And you also want to make sure that they've got it in their system so that they can, um... You could do the Oilers. That's a, that's a former football team. Yeah. But but the, no, there's actually uh, there's a I don't know what sport it is, but there's a team called the Tulsa Oilers. I don't know what it what it is though. Oh man! I, so so far I'm over two. <laughs> Oh my! I got another penalty. How? I had the puck. I like what they've done on the power play previously here, and so they really want to duplicate what they've done. They have to be aware. I've got to get something here. They have to be sharp for that. Moves around along the half wall. Lose it to Gustafson. All right, let's get our colors now. Let's go. Tanner's a shot just wide. Quick pass across to Dubois. Hello. James, I honestly feel the boards rattle when those hits are on my side of the ice. Slides it over to Dubois. Moves it over to Bjorkstrand. Uses the force on that hit. Sends it across. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Takes it across the blue line. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Columbus has it in their own zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Moves it quickly over to Atkinson. Oh, he gets this is about to be a goal. What a reaction. Here's a short pass to Atkinson. Quick shot. Yep. 
Probably gonna hop off after this game. And do other things. Uh, I was thinking of cleaning the house and doing things that uh, I just didn't. We're definitely going to play some Warzone later today. That's going to happen. I feel pretty good after my solo mission earlier today. That has got to be a penalty. That's incredible. Like, I have not been on a power play once in two games. penalty why not let's just keep giving the penalties to me this is amazing yeah that player is wrecked bro oh dude his head slammed to the wall and that's only a two minute boarding call that's hilarious all right, 7-11 to play. They're on the power play right as I got done with another one. Or another penalty kill, I mean. Uh, yeah, that was a boarding. Now I'm just now I'm just playing with anger. So they have 153 of a five on three. Oh, a game misconduct. So they're on a power play for five minutes. And there it is. Man, oh man, oh man. The Blue Jackets have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Benino's one possession. Moves it quickly over to Benino. Here's a chance, a two on one. I just scored a five on three penalty kill goal. <laughs> that makes no sense. Eric Gustafson from Benino. That was a beautiful goal. I don't know how I got that free. You're gonna spend more time picking a team a team name than actually building the team. What about Rhode Island? And they scored it right back. What's that? This is ridiculous. This game is... I'm gonna have to rage quit here. I can't. I cannot handle this anymore. Well, I was just down three to two. Now I'm down five to two. They've scored two goals faster than you've picked where exactly you want your team to be. And folks, with that, we are done. <laughs> we are done. And this 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 first stream has been an epic fail.